Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The first one is a, another proposed bill that would attack the industry. We'll talk about commercial UAV workshops and we'll talk about Wingtra Cloud, which is a new software. And then lastly, two new courses from Pilot Institute. Let's get to it. And it is the time again to make your voices heard. And now this time in the US Senate, the Senate Armed Services Committee is considering its own version of the National Defense Authorization Act. The House version of the NDAA includes the Countering CCP Drone Act, which would ban DJI drones. It's very important at this stage that neither the Drone for First Responders, which we've been talking way too much about, and the Countering CCP Drone Act isn't included in the bill language from the Senate version. Version. Now, as a reminder, the Countering CCP Drone Act plans to ban DJI drones by revoking or preventing new FCC approval for those drones, for Chinese drones, which would affect everyone. This is important. This would affect everyone, including public safety agencies. Now, the DFR Act would ban Chinese drones in five years after creating an incremental tariff, which would affect everyone, including public safety agencies that would lose financial aid after five years and have to pay for expensive drones without any kind of subsidies. Now, the Senate is scheduled to be voting on this version of the act next week, which is coming up between June 11th and June 13th. So it is very timely that you act now, please visit the DAA website, the Drone Advocacy Alliance, to make sure that you contact your senator. In this case, you need to contact your senator. Uh, you'll find links there to find the closest person to you. Please, please, please take action if you disagree with this. Uh, this is extremely important. This industry is under attack from uh, several fronts now, and we need to make our voices heard. Next up is Commercial UAV Expo, which is somewhat around the corner. Uh, we got confirmation this week that we were approved for a new panel. We, meaning a few people from the industry. Uh, this is Desiree Eckstein. We have uh, Jared Yanisek, who teaches our course for mapping. Vic Moss, you know Vic. Kenji Sugahara, you probably know Kenji as well. And then Amy Wigand. We will be discussing regulation and compliance. We'll be talking about BV loss, airspace management, remote ID, operations over people and moving vehicles, and plenty more more. The talk is scheduled for Tuesday, September 3rd from 1 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. And that's going to be in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace. So if you plan to attend the conference, please be sure to uh, join us. And if you don't plan to attend, this might be a good reason to do so. We'll have links uh, in the next couple of weeks in order to get tickets. Uh, this is uh, one of the largest uh, expo out there and uh, for drones. And actually, I think this is my favorite because uh, there's actually a lot of people that fly drones that go to these conferences, uh, unlike some <coughs> other conferences we've been to in the past that are mostly uh, people in suits that uh, just don't appeal nearly as much uh, to uh, what we do. Wingtra released this week a new software called Wingtra Cloud. Uh, it's a software solution for flight planning, site-based file organization, 3D planning, and in coordinate systems. Now, the primary goal of the new software is to streamline surveyor's workflow and then enable more data capture. Uh, it doesn't look like at this stage Wingtra Cloud integrates with uh, image processing, but integrations are available according to Wingtra's website. Uh, we'll keep you updated if we see more, but uh, this is pretty exciting. In last story this week, we have two brand new courses. The first one is a LiDAR course. This is the fourth and I think final volume of our mapping series. Uh, we created three courses last year to help you get started with mapping and building more and more complex maps over time. This is obviously using LiDAR technology to uh, add on to the knowledge that you've learned from the other courses. So it is available now on our website. Please uh, go ahead and visit that, pilotinstitute.com. And the second course that we are releasing is a course on search and rescue, which we recorded with uh, our good friend Cal Norforce from the Weber County Search and Rescue. Uh, we actually went to Utah, if you remember a couple weeks ago, this was to finish recording this course. Uh, there's a ton of information in there about uh, how to search for someone. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, obviously you will have to work with an agency to do this, but there's a ton of knowledge. Cal shares uh, how he flies in the mountains of Utah, which is a very challenging environment. And uh, he's able to, well, tell you and show you exactly how you're supposed to be looking for people, talking about the lost person behavior and uh, a lot of other things. Uh, there's also a very cool video at the very end where we did uh, kind of a, a reconstruction of somebody getting lost and uh, we show you exactly how it works step by step. So uh, really proud of the team for working on this and getting these courses out to you guys. So again, check out pilotinstitute.com if you want more information. And that's it. We'll see you next week. Uh, we'll see you on Monday for the live and then otherwise Friday morning for news update. All right, we are rolling.
No, you are Ben, not Roland. It also, uh, no, one more time. It's also important to ensure that, okay, one more time. I still want too many C's, one more time. Uh, no, and, and then lastly, one more time.